Okay, so we have to take down this Ule the Unlucky dude, and he will not die. Let's just do a quick double check, find a way to send him to the afterlife. So do we just run in there and immediately try to fight him and see firsthand what other people have been saying, that he won't actually die? Or do we investigate first and then try to fight him? I don't know. I think we just barge straight on in here, at least start off. And uh, are we going to go straight into fighting you, or are we just going to chat it out first? Anything down here for us to, to see? Uh, not that I can tell. All right, I guess we're chatting in that case. And yes, our gear at the moment is a little bit beat up. Let's just double check. 47%, so we are losing some damage on that. It's, uh, I mean, it is steel, technically. We're probably going to be using silver against what is likely a specter enemy, but potentially worth at least throwing a little bit of repairs on that. And then it is... Okay, we're losing a little bit on the trousers. Fair bit on the chest plate. Gloves are fine. Boots a little bit there. Okay. Let's throw in at least a little bit of repairs here, because you guys were saying that um, I was sort of waiting out, not looking to invest very much in this gear here just in case we we're about to run into a master weaponsmith or uh, or blacksmith and um you know replace this gear here or upgrade it to the next level witcher gear is that i was gonna say okay well any resources and and money we spend on this gear is useless if we're gonna turn right around and, and upgrade it momentarily but if we are not about to run into any sort of master blacksmith then i think it does make sense for us to do some of those repairs now so, we don't need 90%. That's overkill. We're just looking for a little bit. I mean, 40 might be a good fit. This is for weapons. Yeah, that could get at least our steel sword basically up to 100% here. We are actually, we're losing a little bit on the silver sword as well. Okay, so let's do this. That'll get that up to basically 100% there or close to it. 15% might be all we need on the silver sword for now. It's not going to be perfect in terms of the percentage durability on that, but... At least now, yeah, we aren't getting any penalty. We're not getting beat up. Let's look at the armors now. To repair that, 15%, 90%. We actually have far less repair kits, it seems, for armor than we do weapons, which seems a little bit odd, but... Okay. Then, yeah, I think we want to prioritize the chest plate. And then, what else? Gloves are fine. Boots might just need 15 yeah, I think we might just want to throw 15 on the other things that are a little bit beat up. Like the boots and like the trousers. Okay. Should be back up and running now at this point. Not necessarily sure we need it against this specific enemy, who apparently everyone has defeated, but come we'll on. Chat. Come closer. Don't be afeard. You're sure to win. I, I guess. Come to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ulla the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber. Your cries of die, wraith, and I shall defeat you. Specter of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful I'm actually curious what happens if we lose to this guy. I actually kind of want to deliberately lose to him. It, and just to see if something funny happens, because I feel like that's possible. And so, if we are to do that, then after having just upgraded our gear, let's just drop a quick save now so we don't not have to redo that. Any fight. Have it your way. If not you, then the one to come after. It is all the same to me. That would actually be funny as well. Oh, <laughs> just another. like walk away from him, and then he's like, oh, okay, in that case, uh, you've actually dispelled the curse, so now I'm fine. Doesn't look like it, though. Let's just hard save here. That way, we can, in fact, deliberately lose him, if it's even possible. But I want to see what happens if you do, because I feel like Come there might be something special that does happen. Come to face the ghosts of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ulla the Unlucky. Okay. You, you do seem kind of bored. You are no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death? Well, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Okay. Besides, I know how it'll be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. 
I'm to tarry here till the world's end, losing every fate along the way. What if he needs to win? What if that's how we undo the curse? But you've not come sense. to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work, and defeat the ghost of the arena. Okay, draw your weapon. Draw your weapon. Let's see what happens if you beat us. Draw in, draw in. We'll make it quick. And not too much drama if you don't mind. Will you actually fight us? Come on, take us out. Take us out, see what happens. I want you to win. I want you to win. Maybe you're not so unlucky after all. Show us what you got. Come on, man. He's like, what? What is this? I defeated you. I mean, not entirely, Seems but so. sort of. Congratulations. But what happened? I was to lose till the end of time. What's that? I hear. I hear laughter and joyous cries. The clanking of chalices and a and a voice summoning me to the feast of heroes. See, there you go. You, you let me win. You freed me. Thank you. The gods be with you. And there he goes. Farewell, ghost. Simple as that. Mission accomplished. One experience point gained. As for what would have happened if we actually did fight and defeat him, not entirely sure, but oh, we can actually still talk to these guys here, the ones that set us on this quest. Greetings. Uh, we did, in fact, get rid of the ghost. You ghost probably just saw that entire thing. Drinking meat with his ancestors by now. I knew you'd manage it. Well, Gunnar, me winning. Here. You bet on it? Should have seen it. <laughs> I said you'd pull it off. Gunnar said there weren't a chance. That's why he's got that sheep's arse frown now. See that frown often, when it's time for me to get paid. <laughs> you needn't fret. We're honorable folk here. This is for you. And remember, you get a cut of the earnings once we get the arena up and running again. Ah, oh, remember okay. that. So long. We actually, we'll be in arena going forward. We'll have to see. And we got a whopping 15 coins from it. Oh my goodness, we are rich. Okay. Oh, except we are uh, quite damaged after getting hit, beat up in that fight. Uh, what else is here in the village? Do we know of anything? There's something off the coast here that I think we were at one point saying might have been worth trying to swim out to because it's close enough. But uh, I'm not even sure if we've looked at other things here yet. Thing Don't recall. I just want to do some some general exploring. <clears throat> Ooh, crystallized essence is, uh, that's not bad either. There's more here too. Actually, a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Seems like that's it in that building at least, and not necessarily sure we're gonna find any more quests. So somebody over here does seem to have a lot to say. Ah, uh, and it's locked, in fact. Might just be more looting. Butcher? Here you are! Goose blood soup should set you straight! I, I, yes, sure, maybe, maybe not. Actually, come to think of it, I, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Hello. Anyone in this little building here? Yes, in fact, there are two What's people in here. What's supposed to mean? Ah. I didn't mean anything by that. Just a somewhat small location is all. <sighs> Nothing personal. Beach the room. This, I don't think we'll be able to go down, no. We'll have these flowers, though. Clan Rockfar. Okay, yeah, I think that was the clan that we were seeing before. 
But we haven't heard nearly as much about them as we have some of the other clans. I assume that's still the same clan that Poodle was the uh, leader of, or at least the Jarl of this area. Okay, so I think that might be just about it for this area here. I think it's a pretty small section other than just, yeah, heading over to this question mark here. So why don't we go off the path a little bit, see if we can find ourselves a way into the water, like maybe down here, if this doesn't lead to a humongous drop off, which maybe less so than the other areas, but that still looks pretty deadly. So maybe we do just go through the village and see if they have an area that leads directly to the water. Yeah, let's try going through to either this side. This could potentially work. Something down here as well. Right, it, in fact, several things down here. Sirens of some variety. Okay, but the thing we're looking for is actually more in this direction. Uh, ooh, we, can we make that? Uh, maybe best if we don't try and instead look for perhaps a, a little bit of a better route down. Let's climb on the roofs. Huzzah! Yeah, it's actually uh, not a bad way. You know, just break our ankles a little bit, but compared to some of the alternatives we were looking at before, it seems much better. Okay, I think this is probably still the best way we've seen thus far. Okay, here Show are you got. those sirens. Just give them a good whack as soon as they drop down. There were definitely more of them. Yeah. And they are technically where this marker is. A little bit off to the side. It's looking like it's this little island that we can kind of see off in the distance there. It'd be great if we could get a boat, because it's uh, it's a little bit far away. I mean, what is this thing here? I thought we did have something that we've already explored, yeah, in this general direction. So it is. Okay, let's just focus on what we have marked. Our mark looks fairly close by, although just looking at the map, or, or at least looking directly in front of us, I'm not seeing anything that seems as close as our mini-map would suggest. Like, those islands over there look fairly far away. I kind of want to get these sirens' attention. Yeah. So we can fight them out here. Rather than have to go through the trouble of fighting them in the water, which is a little bit more eh, complicated. Then we have to break out the crossbow. Yeah, I thought one of the sirens might have even jumped into the water. Which is kind of what I'm trying to avoid here, but I suppose we'll keep on going. Uh, well, there they all are. Okay, so they may be unavoidable. Okay, but this is it. It's a hidden treasure. So it's not any island, because uh, all these islands over here seem fairly far away, so that's understandable. We can try diving underwater here, and we hope that we avoid the siren's gaze, which may or may not happen. Are these lootable? Uh, this is, and we are perhaps pushing our luck a bit here. Also, uh, yes, I can't see anything either. Okay, apparently, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Let's go back up. Let's get our breath back. Now, at least we have a general sense of what we're looking for. Sirens may see us now. No, maybe not. Might have been quick enough. Might have been quick enough to avoid them. Well, now I hear something. Yep. I guess, uh, I think I did. But I heard another one. Uh, please take the crossbow back out, Carol. I don't see it. Well, combat music is gone. There's clearly a siren directly above us right now. So, probably gonna get its attention once we do this, but we shall see. Uh, again, hear the sirens coming. It's kind of what happens when you go out here. Uh, well, 
Maybe not. Okay, well, thing is, since we go down here, we pretty much need to go straight to what we're looking for, otherwise we might not have enough breath. Well, maybe we can still make this happen. Let's check it out. Come on. Just a couple of rune stones. Is that it? Yup, that was it. It's grayed out now. Okay, so not exactly the, the best reward we've ever seen. Okay, now the sirens do in fact see us. I would think. But as I was saying before, unfortunately, when we're out here, all we can do is use their crossbow. Because, uh, it's about to get us. Hold on. And we can only use our crossbow underwater. Strange as that is. Um, where are you? On the other side of us. Hello. I miss. Come on. I, I still miss. Best aim ever. Confirm. Oh, well, well. <laughs> that was gonna happen. Oh, you got a couple friends here. Okay, one down. Uh, that really looked like it hit you, but okay. That one did. Now let's get up. As we're swimming in what is almost water that we can stand in, but all right. So not the best in terms of loot, but at least we've now confirmed what's over there and looted it. And we can just take a quick look here, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find that at this point, yes, yeah, so that's grayed out now. Everything else, like this might have been the island that we were seeing before, off in the distance, and this looked awfully far. I think we definitely do want to go in a boat to get there. And I think for that reason, that's probably something we do on a future occasion. There is still at least one question mark on this island over here. So I think we head over there. I'm not sure if we're going to find anything on this side of the island. Looks like this might just be a big mountain range that could be quite difficult to get over. So... That might make this side almost inaccessible unless, if, say, we were to take a boat and sail around to this side here. Don't know if that's actually going to have anything either. We've we been up to this little hut here as well. That might even be worth going to first. Let's mark this. Is that the... No, that's not the haunted house we were in before. That's this one. I don't remember if we've been there or not. Okay, so let's head back up here. Once we're done walking into trees. We'll check that little hut out in case we haven't seen it yet. And maybe we've been... Huh? We've been named. One Are you the guys we were talking to before? You gave us that quest? Maybe, maybe not. But, um, yeah, so we'll check out that little house. See if there's anything over there. Maybe we'll take the boat. Maybe we'll just walk it. But, um, is this way we want to go not quite and then once we've done that we'll see if we can head back over in the general direction of that question mark who are you a, witcher, eh? a messenger who apparently does not have any messages for us such is our luck all right let's hop on road here and actually, hold on. How much stuff do we have in our inventory? Okay, we have plenty of room. I was gonna say, if we're totally loaded up on equipment and we need to sell some things to make room, then might have been a decent time to make that happen while we were in a town. In fact, I'm not even sure if there were any people who were tradespeople there, but uh, there's some kind of Slow. enemy over here. Okay, those just wolves. Don't think they matter too much. This Not little so fast, body of water, though? I don't think we've been in this direction before. Ooh. There's lots of intrigas. Still not quite as interesting unless there's a more unusual on, kind man. of them. From what I could tell, those were all intriga warriors, which are pretty common. But if you have any bigger friends that could potentially be worth investigating further. What, you're fighting like a drowned dead? Yes, you are. Okay. Well, this is uh, an interesting sight to see, at the very least. Enemies fighting each other. What is it? Three Vega Warriors versus two drowned dead? Four Vega Warriors, maybe? Looks like the drowned dead are, are beating up the Intrigas, because... We did not attack this one, and it is almost down. I don't know if they can get the finishing blow on them or not. They may not be able to. Uh, excuse me.
think they're all done now. Ooh, red mutagen. That is usually the hardest color to get, and more of them. So I'm happy to see that. Still a little more loot over here. And now let's let herbs. Um, these are the wolves. Yeah, I don't really want to pick a fight with you, but at this point we're getting close enough that it's going to be just about unavoidable. There is apparently... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just a rabbit, actually. The wolves took out that it is uh, not really wanting me to loot. So I think we'll pass on that. We could try exploring this corner here. Looks like there are some sirens. Not sure if those are just random sirens that don't really have anything special around them or if this is actually some kind of guarded treasure, kind of like what we saw before. So it's maybe worth just a quick look here. That might not have been close enough for us to get you down. That wasn't either. You're actually super sirens. Come on. Come on, girl. There we go. There are more of you. It's a little bit further away. But I'm not really interested in the monsters themselves as much as I'm interested in... Is there anything else over here that we should know about? Now, seems like it may just be sirens and super sirens and not much else special. So I'm thinking we maybe just keep on going in this direction and now, yeah, the sirens are taking note of us. There's at least one following behind us. I was running, so I don't have the stamina to blast you down right now, but there we go. There we go. Okay. So I think we carry on in this direction, because it seemed like there's a, at least a higher probability of us finding something special here. Or at the very least a boat, if nothing else. We also did kind of abandon Roach. Sorry, Roach. She's good, though. She doesn't mind too much. We've left her on totally different islands for extended periods of time on a few occasions. Hasn't really complained, so she's good like that. Okay, this might be Whoa the little hut much. that we were expecting to run into. I think so. There is a question mark here. Not the kind of question mark we usually see, though. There's a green question mark. I've seen those only on occasion. I don't really know what they mean. Usually the white question marks that we're looking for that give us some kind of quest or. Place of power, things like that. Hidden treasure. This is not lootable. And it's locked. The building itself. There's some people over there. That's actually where we saw... We talk to some people who were off doing their own thing. This might have been them. These are just random guards. This is uh, were you supposed to kick me into a bottomless pit in the middle of your town just then? Already you're pestering me? Possibly. Give me your 300 impression. Okay, so this is the boat that we could theoretically take. My question is, do we want to do that? Or do we want to walk this area here? Because here's the mountain range I was talking about that I think is going to be pretty hard to cross over. So I think we need to approach this side of the island from this side of the island. Otherwise, we're just going to get locked out. If we try to, you know, cross over here, that's going to be basically impossible. So I think that may mean that we almost have to take the boat. And maybe we just check out what this little area is directly in front of us in the meantime. Little island. Let's, let's take a look might be brief, because it looks like this place is pretty small. Let's see. At least in this case, in this area here. May or may not be anything here for us to check out. Uh, well, there's some kind of enemies there. 
And I don't really want our boat to get damaged, because this is the only boat in the area, so <laughs> we'll take it the tiniest bit forward, and then we'll just swim the rest of the way, I guess. I mean, this was not really the primary reason why we needed the boat. It's more so for going around further. Okay. You're in stuff. Definitely monsters over there. Couldn't tell if those were drowners, or they almost sounded like ingredients. But, uh, this is pretty steep. Almost looks like there's gonna be something under the water here. A cave? Does that go down into anything, or is this just, uh... Nah, it doesn't look like anything. Okay. I was suspicious for a second there. Hello, fishies. Let's swim around, then. And we'll avoid going through this narrow area with the boat, just to avoid taking damage with it. But, okay, yeah, the monsters are, in theory, around that corner there. And they may start to notice us right around now. They probably will. I would like to get onto really any of these islands if we want to actually fight them. That is usually preferable, because... They are sirens, but here they come. Come on, girl. Hop on. Hop on, girl. I'm not allowed to jump on now. This is unfortunate. I mean, this is like a tiny little thing that isn't actually going to have anything of note in it. I'm mostly just looking for some way to not have to fight these guys in the water, which is going to be annoying. But uh, this is where we're looking to go. And okay, now we're at least sort of on land. Okay. There we go. Got one of their attention. Somewhere. There you are. Ah, I missed. Oh. Hello! I did not have the stamina to knock you down as you were charging at us. This time, we do. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was dramatic. So, I mean, there are a lot of sirens over there, but seemingly not a lot of interest. I mean, you're telling us we're on Spikeroo. That was where we were before. It's just a little island off of Spikeroo, so it doesn't really mean much to me. Most is just looking for is there like some hidden chest here or oh that's a skeleton with flowers. That's just sad. That's just sad. But like, is there anything, any rare loot hidden here on this remote section? Feels like the kind of thing that you, you could theoretically do, right? But perhaps not. Now I'm just looking for a way to go down without us, you know, taking a ton of fall damage and taking ourselves out. Woo! Like that. This looks like it might be doable. Yeah. Oh, in fact, it's almost use our momentum to get up here. But yeah, I think based on what we saw there, not really expecting for us to find much on these little islands. It seems like for the most part, just the occasional herbs, sirens, not much else. We'll at least... Check out these little guys over here. I uh, probably don't want to go down that way, though. Just in case the good stuff is over here. More sirens, though. As one might have expected. Mm. Not seeing anything, though. No chests. So I think this is largely just empty-ish. I'm hoping we can hop back up this. Yeah, okay. Good. So then we'll make our way back over... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> we'll make our way back over to our boat, and we'll actually sail on over and around the island. Because it seems like there's not a lot happening here. Okay. Where exactly should we leave you? Over there. 
So yeah, if nothing else, we've checked this one off the list and we can say definitively that, or at least fairly definitively, that it doesn't seem as though there's much of interest here. Did we check out this spot here, though? I suppose we may not have looked on this little island. And this is actually on the larger side, so maybe this is worth a quick check. Let's see. Are you the one that has the stuff we're here for? And by stuff we're here for, I mean, I don't know, but maybe some kind of useful loot. More monsters over there, sure. But it's like this one up here, if we can even get up here. Is there anything we should check out? Other than white myrtle petals, which are quite common. And not terribly interesting. I'm not even sure we can get up there. Nor do I necessarily think we should try. Otherwise, the slipping and sliding could get us in trouble. Except, hold on. This is what we're here for. Our efforts paid off. Some not-so-great weapons. Diamond dust is low-quality diamond, but it is diamond. And then florins. Not many of them, but okay. At least we get something out of all that beyond the flowers from the, the not-so-living person. It was, you know, not really what we were looking for in that case, so... Oh, except here's another one of those people. This one's not lootable, but... Okay. Let's carry on, then. We'll just forget we saw that. Hop back in the boat. And let's replot our course here. So, we checked this out. We know what these things are. I think we're basically just trying to see, is there anything on this side of the island at all that might be of interest to us? Because I, I feel like it may very well be just about empty. Kind of like what we were seeing when we were exploring this area over here, where we ran into those sirens, drowned dead or two, and some Intriga warriors. Definitely could be some enemies, but is there anything beyond that? I don't think the enemies themselves are really what we're looking for here. Got plenty of those. Double check my reverse button. Uh, it is not that. I can tell you that much. Throw punch does not equal reverse. Right, back it up. Back it up. Are, are you backing it up, Gerald? I don't think you're backing it up. Hold on. I know there's a back it up button. We had this discussion before. Is it this? Now that that was forward. Okay, you know what? Do we have to do we have to navigate around this narrow little passageway? I really don't want to. Like, really don't want to, because we are definitely gonna crash and Ow! Yep, damage our boat, at least a little bit. Geralt is displeased. Uh hold on. <laughs> the also the game is tabbed out. Um it would really help if the go backward button would work. Um because I I really thought it was X. But I was holding X and, uh, and nothing was happening. Nothing, in fact, I was going for, oh, well. Okay, no, hold on, it is working. Maybe just required a little bit more patience and now we're gonna have to do like a 20 point turn here. So, um, one moment. Nope, no, Carol, I, I did not press the forward button. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> this is gonna be painful. And that, kids, is how you succeed at Driver's End. First try! <laughs> Not exactly. Okay, so partially damaged boat, yes, but I think for the most part we'll take that. It does look like you might even be able to walk that to a certain extent, but then you're gonna start to run into this very steep slope. And, uh, well, we've run into a few of those in the past, and it tends not to go so well for us. So I'm thinking, yeah, probably does pay off, at least for the moment, to be doing this via boat. And then maybe we'll just, whenever we find this area like this where there's a little bit of a shoreline, we'll maybe take a quick check on foot, see if there's anything for us to explore. If nothing pops up, then we'll hop back in. Let's do that now. And 
anything we should know about here. There aren't even any enemies here, which is a little bit surprising. But, yeah, like I said, mostly looking for loot. Test kind of like what we saw on that little island there. See if there's anything hidden like that that might have, I mean, ideally, even better stuff than what we found there, because for the most part, that was just like the diamond dust is okay, but other things were definitely not great. This is looking pretty empty to me, so I think we hop back in the boat and we sail on over to the next area where there's a little bit more room to explore. We're just trying to speed past these areas like this where, you know, it's a steep cliff face with presumably basically nothing for us to do. More or less untraversable, if that's a word. All right. Also, this little rock here. Let's make sure we're steering clear of that. Looks like there's something in the water there, but I can't really tell what it was. Nothing showing up on our, our map, at least. Okay, so let's go to the outside of this little rock, just in case. And we'll see. Yeah, so like this area here is like kind of where we just were, so probably not going to do that, but maybe this section here, straight ahead, might be worth exploring, in which case let's actually come in at more of an angle here. Okay. Anything? This looks like there's a reasonable amount of area that we could check out. So I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic that we might find something here. At the very least, there is a bear. What's up, dude? I'm cool if you're cool. Alright, sounds good. So, like, this is where we'd start to get to the steep, mountainy area. It'd be pretty hard to traverse. And therefore, I'd be pretty skeptical of there being much of anything for us to do here. It's almost like seemingly an invisible wall, a quote-unquote invisible wall in the video game sense without there actually being an invisible wall. It's like, okay, well, we're just going to block you off from going here with an extremely tall, steep mountain. But is there actually anything else over here? Besides just this bear. We don't really need to fight that. Yeah, it does look like an, enough of this is navigable by foot that uh, we may not need our boat much from here on out. We might just be able to walk the rest of this way. This looks like there could potentially be something hidden in here. No? Oh, it's something else over here, though. Whatever that is. Might be another bear. Yeah, so I think we could probably walk the rest of this way here and maybe even walk across this and as whether we can make this uh, walk over this part of the mountain at some point in time, that's maybe somewhat questionable and might be reason enough for a boat, but we might be able to pull this all off on foot. Worst comes to worst, we'll double back a bit for the boat. Ooh, hello. Like, that's the kind of thing we don't want to be trying to do. And is that another bear? He is seemingly another bear. Again, we don't really need to mess with Mother Nature in that way. Drowners, however, that's, I mean, again, probably don't really need to fight them, but, uh, are you doing anything down here? Are you technically mucknixers? Are you doing anything over here, or are you just chilling? It kind of looks like you're just chilling. 
Not really sure if there's anything special for us here. There's that tiny little island, but actually the, the sides of it are steep enough that I'm not sure we can go there. Might be too steep to climb up. Definitely can't get on that one. That's a siren. That's uh, an ice troll, actually, over there. That's a little bit more of an interesting enemy. You might make a point of trying to fight that. And let's save, just in case that's a high level. That's at least a mechanically more complex fight. More sirens in the water here. I think we're focusing on you first. Let's get the rabid ro rock troll, actually. Expecting you to throw something at us there. Nope, yep, you did. <laughs> but I didn't see it coming. You're hiding. Over here. Um, okay. Should I be concerned about you being rabid? I really can't tell when you're throwing things. Um, grab two. Hold on. Ideally, like to igni you at least just to lower your armor a bit. I think you have a lot of that. Not so fast, buddy old pal. None of that. Down he goes. Okay, and yes, we got a troll mutagen, which I think is pretty hard to find. Other troll specific crafting materials, which I think are also on the difficult side. Now, is it worth it for us to fight these sirens? Don't really think so. I think it's more so, it's the loot, and it's also the the more unusual enemies that give us the crafting materials that are hard to find, and trolls definitely do fit that description. Whereas sirens, I mean, in Skellige at least, they practically grow on trees. Any chests over here? Also, I think this is around the place where we're going to try to find some way to cross over this mountainy area here. Let's update our quest marker, or our custom marker, because this is not where we're looking to go anymore. It's this. So, can we make it over this area here? I think we may. This angle looks steep, but not impossible. I just want to look a little more thoroughly in this area first. Mostly just goats, though. And that troll. Okay. Let's try this. Because this doesn't look too bad. This seems doable. Now, on the other side, who knows? It could be quite steep. Quite steep indeed. Um, okay, so this could end up having us fall to our death. I'm pressing the jump button to, yeah, do that as soon as we can to help try to break our fall. That should help a bit. And then I'm thinking that's where we want to go. And I think this shouldn't be too bad. Okay. That's doable. Let's see. Now, here reminds me a bit of the place where we landed on Ard Skellig. Looks like a similar little inlet. Anyone or anything down here? Getting closer to where we want to go, and here is a bit of a path. Oh, look at the little crabs! Don't think we can do anything with them, but cool nonetheless. Where does this path go, actually? It does go to where we're looking to go, okay? At least in this direction we are currently facing. So let's see where it ends up in this direction. See if there's anything of note over here. What is that? Around here? Oh, leads into a cave, okay. Not sure we would have seen this, so let's definitely check this out. Oh, I'm pretty sure I just backed out of that before I actually saved. Okay. Uh, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. Ah, okay. Hold on. That's tied to a Witcher contract, which we may or may not have already negotiated. I hope we already negotiated the price on that. I think we've been trying to make a pretty good habit of doing that. Okay. Yeah, we have. 
So why don't we do this then? While we're here. I totally forgot that there was a Witcher contract on this island, so sure. We'll check it out. Explore the caves on Spikerud using your Witcher senses. So what do we know about this? In Clan Brockvar's village on Spikerud, Geralt took on a search and rescue contract. Kevin, the man offering the bounty, claimed the missing man had developed cold feet and fled from his betrothed. Yet the woman herself, Brit, insisted her lover had been snatched away by a monster. Okay. So we don't seem to have any hints as to what type of monster, other than how Geralt just said, hmm, necrophages. 